have no idea. Why do you think it? You obviously think it's not going to last very long. After, after the, if, if, if social workers get killed in this mess, if this, if that happens, who do you think is going to get blamed for it? Do you think the social worker is going to get blamed for not doing a good job? So St. Petersburg is getting rid of the cops. The cops are not going to deal with this. They're going to deal with what well, is supposed to violent stuff. The social worker is going to deal with mental insanity, uh, drug addiction, uh, alcoholism, uh, all the other stuff, you know, family disputes, beheadings in the home, whatever happens out there. And then it would, and they're unarmed, so they're going to go out and these social workers get killed. Do you think they're going to get blamed for it? Well, we'll see. I have a piece. I have a piece here by Conrad Black. Conrad Black is a uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant individual. Lives in Canada with his uh, with his wife Barbara, and he writes for a number of American publications, National Review Online, American Greatness. He has been a Donald Trump supporter even before Trump ran for the presidency. Conrad's exceedingly, and I, I, I say this and he gets mad at me because he thinks I exaggerate, but he is exceedingly brilliant. And he is more fluent with words as a writer than uh, he and Victor Davis Hanson are just, they're, they're right neck and neck, and they're neck and neck in a couple of other comparisons too. And one of the comparisons is Conrad and Victor Davis Hanson are alike in that they both believe and assume and have faith in that a majority of Americans are virtuous patriots appalled by all of this and will not put up with it for much longer, that they will eventually rise up and reject this insanity that is being forced in upon us by the American left. Now, I admire their confidence, and it's rooted in history. It's rooted in a belief that America is still America, that America is not as it's presented on CNN, the New York Times, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, that, 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 that America is still the America of Ronaldo's magnitude that America is still the America of the 1980s. They believe it. They have, uh, they have faith in it. They believe that there is a virtuous majority and that at some point they will be known and they will rise up and take the appropriate action down the box or whatever. See, and I think this is the essence of America's future in a nutshell. Because America's future does depend on the character of the voting electorate. I'm not so much concerned about people who don't vote or aren't going to vote, except the people that vote for them, i.e. fraudulently. But this is the question. The character of our voting electorate. And we don't know because so many of them are afraid to be identified. They are afraid to stand up and push back for fear because they have seen what happens to people that do, like this poor guy from Goya Foods. The Goya Foods guy stands up proudly and proclaims his love and support for Trump, says we are blessed to have Trump as president of a Hispanic community which lives and dies by Goya Foods. Now they're out trying to destroy this guy simply because he supports the president of the United States. They're out trying to destroy him and he's doubling down on his support for Trump. The Goya Food CEO, Babu Namwe, will not apologize in face of a boycott and backlash for his pro-Trump comments. Well, people see this and they don't want any part of it, so they stand silent. They stay silent, and in many ways, they remain invisible. So it is an article of faith that we have that they're there, that you are there. Look, those of you in this audience, you are the kind of people we're talking You, You are the virtuous patriots that have defined America as America. You're true Americans. It's why you're here. But they're, 
there there need to be a lot more. And that's the question. Are there? Or have people just kind of thrown in the towel, particularly since the pandemic, and have just out there streaming Netflix all day, getting their $600 unemployment check whenever? You know, this is this is the great unknown. And I'm an optimist about it all because I can't bear thinking about the alternative. Even though you have to face the possibility. Let me give you a couple of examples of Conrad's piece today. A nightmare campaign out of outright idiocy is, is the title of his column. It's at the American Greatness website. We will, of course, link to it at RushLimbaugh.com. The sub-headline. No society can tolerate this for long. The arsonists will not burn down the society. The society will awaken and banish the arsonists. As we get into high summer, there must be a very large number of Americans now actively considering whether the country's going mad. The leading newspaper in the nation's capital, the Washington Post, for those of you in Rio Linda, has accused the president of plumbing new depths of depravity in a perfectly, soaringly eloquent speech at Mount Rushmore last night. The president praised the American revolutionary ideal that all men are created equal and its reaffirmation by Abraham Lincoln in the Civil War that brought about the abolition of slavery. This somehow made Donald Trump dark and divisive? to celebrate these great achievements? The president deplored academic and national media self-hate. He espoused the highest objectives identified and pursued by every admired American leader from Washington and Franklin to Martin Luther King and Reynolds Magnus. As the violent crime rate skyrocketed in New York City to days and ten days ago, the city council voted to reduce the police budget by a billion dollars. Meanwhile, Chicago celebrated the July 4 weekend with 87 people injured, 17 killed by gunfire, including two children. But the city's mayor rebuked the police chief when he suggested there's room for improvement in city government. Their Conrad Black, this is 180 degrees out of phase. It's upside down. It's senseless. It is ridiculous that anybody could say about Trump's speech at Mount Rushmore that it was dark and divisive, and yet they are and did. It's outright idiocy, and Conrad believed that the American people don't buy it and don't buy it, and that this stuff's going to implode on itself, this leftist stuff, uh, in a matter of time. Got to take a break. There's more. A lot more. Don't go away. It's the big one. Rush of the EIB Network. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. Families are saving money every month on their cell phone bill with Pure Talk.